Welcome to the last weekly vlog. <laughs> Did we hate it? Yes. You think we hated it? <laughs> I think we struggled a lot and I honestly just think it's just it just doesn't fit us right. And the biggest thing I think is taking the time to like edit the big shebang. Yeah. Because we have to like it's a lot of footage and we don't want to hold back on what we're sharing and so I don't know. It just Finding that time when it's not like, yes, we post today. You know when you have like a, a far off project and it's like you wait until the last minute? That's just I kind just of learned cool. this, I just learned kind of what this is, it's called Parkinson's Law. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's like you will fill the amount of time you have with a project. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like in this instance, like we gave ourselves a week, we're like, oh my god, we're gonna have so much time to do the vlog. But like then it's like Saturday and you're filming, you're editing for like four or five hours. Yeah. Versus like if we have a daily vlog, we're like, oh my god, we only have a, one day to film this and one day to edit it. And you're like, yeah, but then you, you find the two hours in that day to edit it. Yeah, but what, we're, what we decided to do instead, that makes perfect sense, we're going to like go to like just two-parters. So we're gonna go out a day and stay home a day. And then it's like that day at home is when I edit, when we have a little bit more time to like focus on the vlog, but when we're like out and about, like we can just enjoy being out and about. And we that goes into yeah. regards to like our our life in general. So like yeah. when we go out, we're not, we don't have like a list of things we want to get done at home. When we, yeah, so like we that is like basically a full day dedicated to like, besides my work during the day for like during the week, it's like a hey, work, taking care of the kids and like just going out and having fun and coming right. home, putting them to bed and then maybe we have to watch movies or TV yeah. or relax. And then days like we stay home, it's like, all right, we're staying home. Yeah. Obviously having fun with the kids, right. but also like getting stuff done. Right, that's our like personality. I feel like we're kind of all or nothing, so it's almost like all fun or all work. Um, and so we don't know like if we're still gonna do these little like summaries or yeah. we're not, because we're still gonna show like everything we did in the past week, um, but we don't know if it'll like exist like old two partners. We would just be like, Two daily vlogs two together. Daily vlogs together, or if we're gonna kind of tie them together, we're gonna Maybe, figure that out as we go. And I think us not saying if that's gonna happen or not will help us yeah. figure out what works best yeah. for us. Because we also just struggled like picking up the camera, not knowing like what sort of like vibe we were going for. Um, I think this will just be better for us, and hopefully you'll enjoy seeing more come out. Mm. Um, big things that happened this week: we got back on like. The bandwagon of me on the Peloton and you running. running. Somebody suggested a Disney villains ride on our 30 for 30 page. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Party, I am Hannah Corbin, and this I've never taken a class with Disney Hannah before. This is a great ride. I've loved every song. This is great. 1045, but I'm gonna do it. I, mean, I love this chick. And I love her Broadway rides. This is my like third one I've done of hers. Excuse this creepy lighting. Um, our room is very dark when the sun is down. I have it on the Peloton. The boys are both asleep. I have been pretty consistent with the Peloton. Um, honestly, this week, I think I only missed yesterday and Actually, some advice that I got from my sister, Christina, who has been kicking butt on her fitness journey, um, is to give yourself like a specific day off. And then like, it's just like, you you know in your head, like no matter what, like you have that day off and it's like really good for your mentality. Even if like you have to take off another day for some reason, um, like, to still take that day off just like always have that day so peter and i decided that that would be friday for us um but now i'm back on it's saturday and typically like we've been doing a good job of like having me do this like during nap time or 
um, on Peter's lunch, but it just didn't happen today with it being Saturday, a little bit more busy. So I am going to do a ride with Robin. She's my favorite and I haven't done one with her in a couple of days. I will post here the rides that I've done. I think I've shown little clips of most, um, but I've absolutely loved all of the rides I've done this week. So highly recommend any of these if you ride Peloton. Here is Robin. She's pregnant and she is just so fierce and so strong and she's such an inspiration and I love her ride. So honestly, I also recommend anything Robin does. Also, she's great on Instagram if you just want a, a fun, positive light on your Instagram feed. I'm just going to keep it straightforward and do a pop ride. Also something we forgot to do with the weekly vlog is like show our dinners. And I feel like that's something that we love doing. We love and you guys like. Um, also I feel like we forgot to show Eve because we would really focus more like on what we were doing like out and about and then doing like little shots at home. And Evie deserves, she's a part of the Brooke Hart Project. Let's just uh, create our own daily vlog uh -huh. for Eve. Yeah, just follow her around. Yeah, uh -huh. we'll get we'll get like a there's like a new Insta 360 that's like this big, and we're gonna mm -hmm. attach that to her collar. Wow. And then we'll find like an AI that will just edit it for us, and we'll just say that's it. Yeah. Um, she would become viral. Right. No, she really would be. She's so stinking cute. Um, but we Monday we went to Epcot. It's the best park entrance, it's the best park, it's the best place, it's the best. Um, in our first weekly vlog, we went to every park, <laughs> but, but Epcot. not Epcot. So. I bleed Epcot. I literally am branded by Epcot. <laughs> and so, we're very happy to be here. It was weird, we went a whole week without coming here. Never again. Let's never come again. <laughs> I had that thought walking in the, like hearing the music, walking and waiting for you to come in behind me. I was like, what are we thinking? Why wouldn't, why didn't we come here? What are we doing? Well, something we don't usually do. You see this floor? This is the OG map of what Epcot was supposed to be in Connections Cafe, Starbucks, because the line was so That's short. We just, ha we had to do it. Okay. <laughs> short, like, this never happened. Yeah, so let's get Starbucks. We were gonna get Starbucks at Target yesterday, we did it. So, so this is making up for it. Yeah, we win. Yeah. Are you guys gonna get some K-pops? K-pops, K-pops. K-pop? K-pop dance? He's sharing with Goofy. <laughs> Sarah just said the greatest face ever. She hates coffee, but she likes frappuccinos, but I got the frappuccino I like coffee made of coffee. the way I like it, which is with an affogato shot, which is a hot espresso shot at the end of it, on top, so that it melts mm -hmm. in and becomes less like a shake. And more like I a... can feel it in my chest. <laughs> I was like, hey, try this, because she never had it. I used to get these all the time when I worked at the Disney store in the Chicago Ridge Mall. Shout out if you know what I'm talking about, store 512, mm -hmm. um, from... Gloria Jeans. Gloria Jeans. And I've never found a Starbucks that could make it, so I explained, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be, the line's short, I'm gonna like, be a little extra and like, explain it to the guys so it can be made, because I tried doing this recently, they didn't make it right, because it has to be a hot espresso shot Because the espresso already hit your blood. <laughs> yeah. And I explained to the guy, and he's like, oh, so you want an affogato shot on your frappuccino? I was like, yeah, Tyler, but like, I've asked for that many a times before at Starbucks, and they haven't made it right. Well, they made it right, and now Sarah's poisoned. And I got a iced grande chai tea latte with a pump of the cinnamon dolce in it. It tastes like straight fall, and it's glorious. It tastes like straight Halloween. And Teddy can hear himself. <laughs> we found the Epcot's 100. All the rest of them are in the front of the park. This is kind of cool. What? These kids are very close wow. to seeing an obstructionless view of World Showcase Lagoon. Look at that. The main barge is gone and two of the side barges are gone. Bye, Are we waving bye to the birdies? It is a bird. So, that looks weird. I mean, I like it. I miss it. I don't know how to feel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. 
this week Teddy began to speak. <laughs> um, and at Epcot we truly just like did our thing around the World Showcase and we stopped and we saw Jody Messina who is performing. Yeah, there you go. I love that they've made so many characters, the little shoulder friends. So it's like the little magnet thing. Yeah. Can you have them on your shoulder? place we had never watched it before. Yeah. And guess what in the ring? Yeah, and then I come The place we were watching usually is like marked off for events. <laughs> It started boring. raining literally right as I've okay, caught forever. Okay, maybe not but like this is like substantial rain. <laughs> uh, enough to get everybody soaking wet. So we evacuated the kids into there and the camera in the backpack and the cell phone came out. Boy. Woo, this is Teddy's first time in the rain cover. That was perfect timing. The, the fireworks stopped and then just like right. came down. <laughs> wow, look at that. I'm not the biggest fan of this Disney 100 in some of the locations of the parks, but this, this works. I think it works best at Hollywood Studios, but that works too. But beautiful. You guys remember, it's been a while since we've proved it, but you guys know that rain doesn't stop the Brookharts. Yeah, we could use an umbrella. We have like three umbrellas in the car. <laughs> right. And we brought rain covers for the kids. Yeah. Just an umbrellas for ourselves. 
<laughs> Does he see Mickey and Minnie? You know the brook cards have been stuck in the rain. Well, the next night, we went to Magic Kingdom, and another thing that, like, we needed to do was to go on Pirates, because it felt like, like, we hadn't gone, we haven't gone on Haunted Mansion, there's just some things that we haven't done yet. Which is blasphemous. Yeah, and so when we went on Pirates, we were like, okay, now, this is real. Yeah. We live here. <laughs> seeing the clock on the castle I really again. Do. I really, really do. We realized today that we have not been on Pies of Caribbean since we moved here. And, and I think so we have to either solution that today by going on it or we're going to get kicked out of the, the state. Yes. Moving straight back. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, whenever we're in a cave or a tunnel, which really only happens at Disney World, <laughs> Teddy goes, ah. Uh, likes to hear his, his echo. It started to rain. It was like clouds rolled in. Oh yeah, it started to rain as we were getting in the car. Yeah. We actually, like we say in the vlog, like we have 30 minutes to get to the car and we never say if we got caught or not. Mm -hmm. Better get it. Oh. Oh, aggressive bubble popping. <laughs> Sometimes in life you just have to hunt down the bubbles. Get them. Over here. You see Mickey? The three caballeros. Oh. <laughs> James, do you still have bedhead? It's the humidity. All right, so Haunted Mansion was another hopeful. Maybe we'll do it after the fireworks? I don't know. We'll see what tonight holds. It's Friday Eve, um, but uh, the rest of Fantasyland is pretty light. He's a big old kid in a big old city. He's dancing away in Philhar Magic. Booyah. Both of you are dancing. Booyah. Yeah. Who are we going to see? For the show. Is it for boutique? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you're still coming in, it's great to see you. Now it's yeah, time to choose a row and move yourself all the way across. <laughs> Sorry, little fella. Hmm. How'd that get unplugged? We'll just plug it back in. Yup, that's better. All right, put on your opera glasses because it's time to present Maestro Mickey Mouse and the Philhar Magic Orchestra. Oh my gosh, Donald, wake up! It's showtime! Don't forget the orchestra, and don't touch my. This is 
called Win Win Disney World Parenting. Winnie the Pooh was 20 minutes and James was snacking, so Sarah's taking him through that because he loves it. Teddy needed a bottle and a rest, so I get some alone time with Teddy walking around this beautiful nighttime big top circus. And Sarah gets some fun, special Jamesy time on Winnie the Pooh. Oh my goodness! Tiggers! Your Pooh? Wow. Jamesy and I are gonna go on Winnie the Pooh while Teddy has a baba with Daddy. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> All right, since we're still riding this high on the fireworks, we're going straight from People Mover onto a walk on Buzz. Wow, the universe protection units. I see. It's Buzz. What does Teddy think? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're ready to go. You're doing it. Hold it. So uh, we were like game planning what we we're gonna do next. Try to go on haunted. Gonna maybe go on haunted mansion. And then we saw lightning. We're like, let's just look at the radar. <laughs> it's gonna be rain here real quick. <laughs> and well, we have like a half hour to get to the car, which I don't know. It'll it'll be a photo finish, but because um, we like parked in Cruella like far back. But we're gonna do our best. We get caught in the rain. We get caught in the rain. Typically, we wouldn't run from the rain, but at 10 p.m. <laughs> with the little and we like, I mean, we didn't run from it the other day, and it was like 9:40. So like, I think like we can give ourselves a little grace. Like one day we battle it, one day we don't. One day we battle, one day we don't. What's so funny? So we're the very last family that got on this ferry. So like we will make it on this first ferry. Uh, they cut everybody out behind us and go on a different route. 
and literally like as we were like, what do you think, like 10 rows? Yeah, it started raining and then like, but it wasn't terrible. But then no, I was, got soaked. Yeah, it was like coming in the perfect way where like we were fine. But then like when Peter was packing up the car. Like Sarah and the kids got in and it was still fine. Like I was on like the east side of the car and it was coming at an angle where I was getting blocked by the car and I was getting like the stroller disassembled. But literally as I was like putting in the last like two pieces of stroller, it went from being like perfectly angled, angled rain to like perfectly downpour. Yeah. And there was no hiding. And then I, I got a little wet. Yeah. Um, funny enough, we made this decision to like not do the daily vlog like midweek. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> you want your chicken? You want me in it? You want me in the baby food vlog? Chicken. On Tuesday and Wednesday, we barely vlogged at all. Um, and that had a lot to do with, I had an appointment, um, which I'll put in the clips from here. Welcome to the day that is known as Tuesday? It's Tuesday and the doggy is growling at the pantry because I left it. It's also really late, but important things in life. Bluey dropped a new album called Dance Mode. I saw it on Amazon. It's not in the US. You order it, it takes two months. But the list is on Spotify, the list is on YouTube. And check it out. It, the, the album's called Dance Mode because it's got season two music and it's amazing and it's beautiful and I can't wait to listen to all of it. It's got Rain, the instrumental, and Rain, the actual song. Well, update for today. I had a really busy day at work. There was kind of some fires that we were dealing with. And then I stopped working because Sarah had to go to the doctor today. Yes, so after, since basically I stopped nursing Teddy, I've been having a little bit of discomfort. My, some might call it pain, but it's just like consistent. I had to get this doggy. Um, we've made a vow to ourselves that we're gonna take care of ourselves. Like we're not gonna let things like that go without getting checked out and whatnot. So, you know me, doctor's appointments cause a bit of anxiety. Um, <laughs> everything went well at the doctor. I had a breast exam and everything looked fine, felt fine, um, but because I had like a very compassionate care provider who it was my very first time meeting them, um, they listened to me about my concerns of like my parents having cancer and just having a lot of like health related anxiety and they ordered for me to get a mammogram um just to put my mind at ease and, and so always check all those boxes if you, if you can yeah. advocate for yourself and you've mm -hmm. got especially here in the united states like if you have a care provider that will also advocate for you you should right. take up like that opportunity because yeah. like this will help insurance cover the scan versus yes. us just like going basically out of pocket or on on yeah. on um like prescribed by a doctor right so did yeah. you call so get i called and it was after hours so we'll get that scheduled um and then we just hung out home and we're about like peter went and got like ice cream bars and we are gonna have some dip the, the kids, kids are aren't asleep bad. and so that is our little like umbrella of today. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night we had planned on being home because we had an um, ACS committee meeting, um, which we did a huge fundraising push this week and you guys really turned out for us. My gosh, we, we fundraised $1,500 in like 30-ish hours. Yeah. Um, so we closed out our Chicago Marathon fundraiser and we have some more fundraisers coming and some more fun stuff. So we received the postcards in the mail, which is like kind of the fundraiser was if you donated at least $15, we would send you a postcard with a personalized message from us, drawings from the boy. So we have our postcards and, um, we're going to start getting those out. So that was that was incredible. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like awesome. Yeah. We always joke around that like we don't do fundraising like consistently. We'll mm -hmm. do like chunks of fundraising and that was truly like the biggest chunk ever. $1,500 in 30 hours. Like that's insane. Oh so thank goodness. you guys so thank much. Thank you. Yes. Um, it's then, a big ACS year. We've talked yeah. about that before. So we've got a lot more fundraising to do still. Chicken. And again, like we just like, like it was just like we didn't pick up the camera. We were like, what's What's the what is life? <laughs> and so that's kind of like when we made that call. Um, but James Z had like, we got placed for his early steps this week to start. So he's gonna start the at-home therapy um, with like the state run program. But he also 
had like his evaluation with um, like a more clinical setting for speech um, yesterday. So that was this week. So it was like it was a big week for like appointments and getting kind of yeah. that sort of stuff situated. So Peter and I on our morning walk, which we like started to do within like the last like week or so we've been getting out and walking every day which has been really nice um i've been grounding myself in the grass um still situating our new routine here but we were like we spent that whole walk just talking about what we want to do with the vlog and just being intentional and being genuine um and sharing more like just to remember to film because our last two days have been at home and knowing we weren't going out and knowing we're doing this like weekly situation we just like did not pick up the camera. And so I wanted to remember too this morning as me and Jamesy are hanging out while Teddy is having his first nap. And I'm gonna see if he'll do a little taste test. I set up this little tray. Basically, this is something I've seen on TikTok and it was, this. we're like so guilty of this. It's like being hungry throughout the day and just like, you always like grab the easiest thing. And so we've set ourselves up with like a dip, which I love, and then a, that platter full of veggies so that it's something just like yummy and nourishing to eat. Um, I'm still getting my little dip in. You wanna try this? We're gonna do a taste test. It's a Publix fried pickle and ranch dip. Just going for the chip by itself. Let's see if he'll do the taste test with me. Okay, well, I'll just I'll just do the taste test. Um, again, this is from Publix. It's, it's from Taste of the South. That is excellent, Jamesy. I think you'd really like it. I don't know how you can get try this much better with a dip. Pickles, you love pickles sour cream um so yeah that's something we've kind of like added into our like grocery groceries and like essentially since both kids are like kids and like we snack and eat and have like i don't know we have a lot of needs <laughs> with these two little ones that this has been like super easy to make sure that i'm also like feeding myself and being aware of what like my body needs too Hmm, is that good? We have up on, so clearly I'm not, I'm not his priority at the moment. Tasty, right? So we haven't showed this little addition. Isn't it so cute? We're gonna put a, um, I think a hook for an apron on the side. Maybe something else, I don't know. But we got this from Foresighted before we left Chicago. And it's basically my new, my new favorite thing on our walls. Also, something I've been doing that I've been meaning to share is I have cut out my daily caffeinated, carbonated beverage, which is like funny, like why did I decide to do that when we were like moving across the country and starting a whole new lifestyle and getting back here? Like, it was kind of a funny time to begin that. Um, but honestly, it's been great. Oh, that's a big chip. My, my little postpartum hair is kind of crazy, so that's just that's just reality right now. I love those drinks, and so instead of just saying like I'm never gonna have them again, I'm just giving myself a treat every once in a while. So I'm gonna have one fountain drink a month, one Red Bull a month, one Be Bad energy drink, which we get from the Savannah Bee Company at Disney Springs a month. Um, and for me, like I really just like a fancy drink, and so like. I'm still like each day making myself a little kombucha and juice little concoction and like obviously that has like still has sugar in it but like I just am mindful of the ingredients of, of what I'm buying right now I have pomegranate blueberry juice with mm, you having goofy eat your best um, and then lemon berry kombucha so that's my little pick-me-up I know I'm gonna have it every day I rely on kombucha for my gut health, so it's nice. And then I've been drinking tea, so I'm still getting my little fancy drinks in. Um, I'm just a little bit more mindful. And I think I'll do more of a routine video soon. 
I mean, obviously I've just talked about how like we're still kind of nailing that down, but it is different now in our space and basically having two toddlers and not like a baby and a toddler. Um, so yeah, that, that'll that come soon, but just kind of like once we get the ropes. But this is kind of like the building blocks of me feeling like normal again. Yeah. Are you reading? You reading? Good job. <laughs> Friday night was just a classic Disney Springs night, so I'll just roll that footage here. Another Disney 100. Yeah, we're at Disney Springs tonight. It's Friday. It was well, a so doozy. We got out of the, the garage and so just said, look, we're just going low and slow. Yeah, we're enjoying. It's seven o'clock. We, we have like no timeline. I kind of want to go to the Coke store. Ooh. Okay, I didn't really ever see like Disney Coke merch before. Like wearing the Disney <laughs> Classic. It's nice that their colors are the same. Wait a minute. But I don't think they're actually selling this hoodie. They were selling a hoodie with a bear wearing a hoodie on it. But Wait, what about there? Is this it? No. No. It has it on the back. So if he was, if he was facing the back and then like giving a like behind the shoulder let's look. The, let's get the hoodie, cut off the hood, wear it backwards, sew the hood on the back. It's <laughs> okay. A little Friday poutine treat. Ayo. Chips it is. All right. I'm so strong. You really like, is. Off, like, you literally just said he's grown twice the size and three times the human since we moved yeah. here. Like that's all him. And he'll just like right now he'll like tighten his core and like literally separate himself from me. That's ours. <gasps> so good. So delicious. Teddy, are you ready? Yes, 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 yes. outside and eat it. We used to do this so often. <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll elaborate why in a second. We walk out of Goofy's Candy Coat to pure anarchy. Yeah, Sarah loves fire. I love it. Maybe this is where it started. 
here's the finished product. Chocolate dipped, half peanut butter, half Oreo crumble. Oh yeah, that's good living right there. All right, so that absurdly sized item is $6.99 because we got an additional topping, but they, we had a DVC discount of 20%, bringing that monster to $5.95. Now, we don't talk about it too much anymore just because it's so far in the past now, but there was a period in time in 2019 where I worked for the Walt Disney Company in one of their financial services offices, and during the holidays, customers get 40% off during a lot of merchandise, and that's considered a merchandise discount. So Sarah and I would come here a lot during that time because it would cost like something absurdly crazy like that would cost us like three dollars and fifty cents like it was crazy um, is it good mm. he, pull, he keeps pulling my hand <laughs> okay this is so cute it's a disneyland print again oh my gosh all of this so cute So we did one of our biggest parenting hacks that we've learned since moving here and that's changing the boys into their jammies before we go home. Fresh diapers, fresh mm -hmm. jams. That way they fall they if they fall asleep in the car or like when we get home it's like straight to snuggles and straight to snuggles. So. Saturday, big kid life began and we brought James to his first uh, gymnastics class. It was a trial gymnastics class, gymnastics class up in Lakeland. Um, and we loved it. Sarah got to do it with him. I had, I got Teddy to snooze during it. And then, uh, so we're debating if we're gonna sign up for that one. We think we're gonna try another trial for one of the gymnastics gyms in Orlando. Yeah. Cause they were kind of like, uh, like similar time commitment, but yeah. like Orlando's closer, but like traffic's just a little bit more iffy in that direction. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, it was really lovely. And then like James had so much fun and we went to Brew Hub. What do you do after your child goes to his first gymnastics class? <laughs> you go to a brewery. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a Chicago vibe, right? Yeah. Out little lawn, obviously beer. Beer cheese soup. I hope there's food. No, I know there's food. We are next to I-4, so that's loud. But there's this nice field and a food truck with SpongeBob and Patrick. So we're gonna check it out. Peter got his fave. Rome City. I got this black cherry soda pop. Outside and they have food at this food truck. <laughs> Get over here. When they said it was just the food truck, I was thinking it was gonna be like really small selection, like whatever. And this menu is amazing. It's got a Krabby Patty and all other kinds of burgers. What a pleasant surprise. We are just snacking today. And we got Yes! And we're getting crazy french fries and some empanadas. You got me? It's kind of crazy just to let this child run around this field, but it's fun, right? Oh, yeah. We're going to give you a little tour before we leave inside Brew Hub. That's good? I wonder if that's, I don't think that's made here. Boiling, bottling. All natural. New York, New York. How cool do you feel with your like, little tattoo coming out of gymnastics class at a brewery? On the weekend. I feel like a mom. I feel like it's my greatest dream come true. Wow. James is sharing his goldfish with Forky. So Teddy was ready for a nap, so I was actually having like getting Teddy down for a nap, was holding him while he was sleeping while Sarah was doing the class. What was really cool is that I could have joined Sarah and James in the class. There were like other two parent families in the class going on. And the class is a fun term because it's just like free play, but it's like good to get him used to like heights and the different equipment and direction and playing with other kids. So we might try out in old because we were going between this Lakeland one closer to some of our friends, and then there's one in Orlando. 
This one's further, but Orlando's closer, but with I-4, Orlando, I feel like they're the same time same commitment. commitment. So we are gonna probably give just uh, the Orlando one a try before we like sign up. Um, this they, this for his age, they have like four four classes once per week. Um, I we pay per month. Structure during the week, but we probably get better for weekends. Yeah. Uh, we got a uh, chicken empanada, some wings with the sauce on the side, and some crazy French fries. Ready to dive in? It started raining, by the way, so we went underneath. And then we ended then we Sunday. Sunday. Sunday? No, Saturday. We stayed home Saturday. Saturday and like yeah. we, we hung up some more stuff and did stuff yeah. in the house. Yes. Um, and then Sunday, we went to Hollywood Studios with our dear friends Jordan and Keaton. Um, it was like the perfect park day where it was like a show, a ride, a snack. Like we just. Like a little was, bit of everything. Yeah. And it was like sunny mm -hmm. and warm, but there was still cool breeze because there's been like crazy winds all week. Yeah. There was like a tornado. Watch that whole day. There was actually an actual tornado, I think, in near Miami. Oh gosh. Yeah. Um, but we actually decided that that would be our first day back daily vlogging, so we won't put too much, like I'll put a little bit of footage in here from that day. We did end up at World Showcase. What is this? What is this? Miguel. Miguel. Olaf just said it perfectly. This breeze is delicious. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was just like so breezy and gorgeous, we're like, we just have to be in World Showcase today. That's that was the week. last week. Yeah. And, um, Welcome back to daily vlogging. Right. Well, it's kind of like we always daily vlog. Yeah. But even now, we're not going to be posting. Yeah. Every day, but yeah, it'll be day. A, little, a little bit closer, and I hope to still be more active on Instagram, yeah. get those comments answered, and just like being able to like focus our energy. Um, that works best for us. So thanks for coming along while we figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.